So, so Paul, what are some of the most important uh, concepts or skills a person needs to master to have competency in peace literacy? So there's seven forms of peace literacy that I discuss. The first form of peace literacy is literacy in our shared humanity. What do all humans have in common? What does it mean to be human? And just to show how people in the future will look at us as being a very bizarre society, is shouldn't we know what it is to be human? If you ask a hundred people what does it mean to be human, you get a hundred different answers. But what does it mean to be human? What is the human condition? And shouldn't we know what it is to be human and where our human problems come from and what we all have in common regardless of our skin color, religion, nationality, or gender? And the second form is literacy in the art of living. So considering that living is an art form, imagine what would happen if you had a basketball game and none of the players were ever taught how to play basketball. <laughs> It'd be a mess. Imagine what would happen if you had an orchestra play Beethoven's Ninth Symphony and none of the players had ever been taught how to play their instruments. It would be a mess. Mm -hmm. So we have all these humans in the world who have never been taught how to live. They've never been taught how to overcome fear. At least I was never taught that growing up how to resolve conflict, how to have empathy, how to listen well, how to be a good friend, how to be in a healthy relationship, how to be a productive member of a community, how to have integrity, how to calm yourself down, sure. how to control your anger, how to overcome hatred, how to calm other people down. Just think about overcoming fear and calming yourself down and calming other people down. Those are some of the most important life skills we can have, but we're not taught that. Mm -hmm. Now, some people are taught that from their parents, but a lot of people will learn really bad habits from their parents. A lot of parents, they resolve conflict in very destructive or aggressive ways. And if you look at the media, how often do you see people on television resolve conflict in a peaceful, loving way? I see. And so, shouldn't we be taught how to live? Isn't that one reason why we might be having so many problems? The same reason why we'd have a lot of problems if there was a basketball team who had never been taught how to play basketball. The third form of peace literacy is literacy in the art of waging peace. When I was in the army, I saw that people in the military have excellent training in how to wage war. But most activists have no training in how to wage peace effectively, let alone the average person. How do we wage peace? How do we make mm -hmm. peace happen? And we recognize every other art form, basketball, any sport, playing any instrument, filmmaking, writing, sculpting, martial arts, you have to get training. So if creating peace is one of the most difficult things we can do as a species, why shouldn't we have training in how to create peace, how to wage peace? Good point. The next thing is literacy in the art of listening. We all know if people in our society knew how to listen better, that would be critical. Literacy in the nature of reality. A lot of our misconceptions about peace come from our misconceptions about reality in terms of how does reality actually function and what does that mean for mm. making peace part of that reality. Literacy in our responsibility to animals. Literacy in our responsibility to creation. And I would contend that less than 1% of the human population today is literate in those seven areas.